Hey guys, what is going on today? Bojo here, and we are back for our NHL 17 Franchise Mode series following the Carolina Hurricanes. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode, make sure to leave a like down below, hit that thumbs up, and if you guys missed episode 2, you can find the link in the description or on the screen. Now, uh, we are 8-6 and six currently, we started off our season. Um, I did some edits as well, I changed up the lines a little bit, so I made some adjustments to our special teams, most specifically to our power play and penalty kill, to hopefully to get those working a little bit, but for right now, 16 points, 5th in the Metro, holding on to the last wild card spot, is pretty good for this team that we are going to be rebuilders. Um, we're going to take some time in another month to check out all our ticket prices and things like that, but I looked at our, uh, one thing I wanted to look at for you guys and show you guys before we start simulating once again is that I wanted to look at our arena I think it was under arena and facilities yeah team rankings and sales so I wanted to take a look at where our rankings and sales have been so far for this uh, franchise for the last 30 days actually we can just do that nah, it's, it's better if we do a uh, year to date or the last 30 days for the last month so as you guys can see, every team right there for the last month in prices, we are currently 25th right now in revenue generated. Only $4.4 .4 million we have made, while all the other teams have been making roughly around like 9 or 13 or along those lines. So the last month, we've only made $4 million, which still is a lot of money, but we really, really, really want to get our prices up there. And as you guys can see from tickets and sales as well, if I go back to this, for instead of revenue generated, we can actually search by all of our ticket sales as well. Um, our ticket sales, where are we at? We're like, uh, we're actually selling a good bit of tickets, which is really, really awesome to see. Uh, I think we're in the middle of the pack for tickets sold. Yeah, we're kind of in the middle of the pack for tickets sold, which is really nice. So we're selling out our games. Um, concessions is terrible. We're not selling enough food, it seems, at the games. Merchandise were last, which makes sense why our t why our fans are happy with the merchandise. It's probably because it's so cheap, but we're not selling enough of it. So maybe we should really... Uh, I don't know how we could upgrade our merchandise. And then parking. Uh, parking, I think, is in the middle area, right? Uh, parking, where's our parking at? Carolina. Carolina's right there. Yeah, it's kind of near the bottom as well for parking. So... Parking and concessions aren't really, parking concessions and merchandise aren't really selling all too well, but we're selling tickets to the games, which is nice, but we really need to entice people to, I guess, come to these games, not really come to the games more, but we really need to see if we can get more people to buy like our concessions and things like that. So I don't know how we would be able to do that, but uh, hopefully you guys can give me some feedback here, and I think maybe if we do another month, we'll be able to see how we can actually entice people to spend money on merchandise and concessions and things like that. But we're also focused on the team and how we are performing, so let's go to the calendar here. Let's do another full month of simulation, and or actually a full half month of simulation. I will go to the next month for the, like the 13th around there. Yeah, we'll do another month here. We'll get, go up to the next promotion game against the Chicago Blackhawks and see how we do. We should be coming back with a couple of our players from injuries as well. Exactly right on cue. Noah Hannafin will be inserted back into the lineup here so we can go to defense. Uh, right where Matt Tennyson is, Noah Hannafin will just fit right back into place here. He'll become scratch. He'll take over all of... Uh, wherever Hanif, wherever Tennyson was, Hannafin will get filled into that. Easy swap. And Ho Noah Hannafin is back from his injury. And Dennis Seiberg is injured with a wrist sprain. His SMA returns November 23rd. So that's he's only going to miss him one week. So we can just do replace the player. Tennyson will go back in there for Seidenberg. And we get a shootout win to start off the simulation there against the San Jose Sharks. Dana also is available to play in the team's next game. That's good for our AHL team. So if we just go to goalies right here, we can take Muse out and put Allschooler back in. Make sure we switch it back to NHL so we don't get any glitches that happen. And we're good for Carolina and we're good for Charlotte. Okay. And we're moving right along with our simulation here. 5 2 loss to the Canadians. Dennis Seidenberg is available to play once again. Good. We can obviously just make a quick swap here. Tennyson, thank you for filling in. Right now, I appreciate it. So, Seinberg gets put back in, and we're good to go. 
Alright, so we got a win there against the Sharks. Brendan Woods is available. I'm just going to continue. And there's a 4-1 to win over the Jets. Nice. 10-7 at the Maple Leafs. Road game. 6-3 loss against Toronto. Hayden Flurry injured with a, a hamstring. December 3rd. Okay, so we can just replace the player. Road game against Montreal. 1-0. We shut them out. Alright, so we're going back and forth with wins and losses here. We get on a nice little winning streak, maybe. Oh, there's a shootout loss, so we get a point. Once again, Ron Hainsey for a third-round pick. We're going to decline that trade. It's good to know that we can definitely get Ron Hainsey, though, for a third-round pick, which is nice. Buffalo Sabres won him as well. A lot of trade interest in Ron Hainsey, it seems. Sam Flurry is available to play. Uh, let me just make the... Uh, whoops, hold on. Stop the simulation. I want to get Hayden Flurry back in there. 7-1 loss against Boston. Okay, we got wrecked in that game. I want to make sure that Hayden Flurry is playing for Charlotte. Uh, let me just go to edit lines for Charlotte. A little bit of struggles here. Like I said, we're, we're trying to win as many games as we can, uh, but we're also trying to be competitive. We'll see how we do here for this last month, and then we'll check out the stats. Do another overview of prices as well, see how we're selling out some things. Fan happiness is roughly around 70s and 80s, which is okay. Uh, we've got another shootout loss there, so we're roughly going around 500 now on a road trip, so we're not going to be getting any concession prices and things like that. We do get a win, though, over the Kings, so 13, 12, and 2. Keegan Lowe, injured foot, just replace the player. Uh, Sharks, what do we get? 4-3 to three shootout loss. All right. Keegan Lowe is available to play. We can just continue. All right. Continuing to simulate along here. 6-3 win over Vancouver. Okay. That was a home game as well. Washington. Uh, Justin Falk has been injured with a sore foot. His estimated return is December 24th. All right. We'll just replace the player. We'll put Tennyson in there. He'll be back shortly. Might lose a couple games here because Justin Falk is definitely a big piece to our team. I did get a win 3-1 there. Scouting. Good. Um, what should I really be scouting? I really should be scouting some defensemen. Uh, let's go to the OHL and scouts defenseman for six weeks. Get some of the OHL defensemen. Uh, Detroit, 2-1 to one loss. All right, we're roughly around 500. Dustin Falk is back. Good. He can get two days rest as well. I like the quick swaps. They're easy fixes for sure for when people get injured. Uh, okay, up Florida Panthers, Ron Hainsey. All right, uh, decline the trade. We got to stop the simulation. Stop the simulation. We got to do an arena upgrade. We're 15, 16, and 3. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, upgrade and maintain. Okay, what is, what's down? What's down? Attendance was good for last game. Team Prestige, obviously, we're poor on popularity, which is obviously to be expected. Uh, what needs to be upgraded? Uh, the team store. Okay, so we need to upgrade the team store and maintenance is under fire right now. Yeah, team store and maintenance. Okay, so what do we got here? We need to, I guess, repair it. Uh, yeah, it'll take a week to do that. Yeah, so definitely want to repair the team store. Parking lot is in fair condition. Maybe we should put some repairs on that as well. Yeah, let's get that uh, back up to back up to top. Executive suites need to be repaired as well. Can definitely repair that and what else is looking kind of low uh, everything's roughly around 75 and 80 so we'll definitely need to repair those in a little bit let's get done the month here let's get done the month let's get these last three games done maybe we can get above 500 but I doubt it three really tough games there one of which is our promotions night against Chicago Pittsburgh we get a shootout loss okay so we get a point Chicago our promotions night we get a 3-1 to one win, not bad. And did we get a win against Tampa? We did, all right. So we got three points in our last three games against three really tough teams. 5-4 to four shootout, lost to Pittsburgh, 3-1 to one win over Chicago, and then we blew Tampa Bay out 7-2. to two. So once again, another month has gone by, and we are at 17-16-4. and four. So roughly around the 500 team, which is what I expected us to be. 38 points, our division is very, very good. Um, don't think we'll be a playoff team. I think that we will be sellers come trade deadline, but we're still trying to do as best as we can. Okay, uh, so let's check out the stats. Check out player stats and then all of our promotions things, all of our ticket things, see how we can start to really uh, get going here. What month are we in? 
that's another thing I wanted to take a look at. What month are we in right now? We are in... What month are we in? It used to say the month previously before, but it doesn't say the month anymore. All right, so we just started the brand new year. So we are in 2017 right now, January 1st, 2017. Okay, so now I can go back to stats. Have another month or two before we really start doing our season ticket drive and start pushing those sales out. But, uh, okay, so 17, 16, and 4, 37 games played. Uh, a couple teams do have some points in hands, but the Rangers and the Islanders are struggling. But we're not the worst team in our division. Uh, we're only two points behind Washington. We're not too far off from a couple points out of the, out of the Metro, which is nice. How's the other division looking? And how many points do we have? 38. So what's a wild card at? Just for playoff looking at it right now. 43, 42. So 42 points is the wild card spot. We're only four points out of that. It's definitely not out of reach. Um, okay, goals four per game. Goals four per game, we have a 2.54, which is definitely near the bottom of the NHL. Goals against per game. Goals against... Uh, looks like we're in the middle, sort of. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Did I look at that wrong? Carolina. Where's Carolina at? Oh, there we are, right below Colorado. Okay, so 2.86, yeah, it's kind of still near the bottom as well. Uh, power play is at a 14%, which is one of the worst. So those power play edits really didn't help us out too much. Um, and then penalty kill. Let's see if those changes to the penalty kill I did helped out. Not too much. Our special teams are still struggling. 9-7 and seven at home, 8-9-4 and four on the road. Last time we are 4-4-2. Four, four and two. Okay, so I might have to make those edits once again to our special teams. Uh, let's see. So Jeff Skinner seems to be leading our team in points. For forwards, yeah, 31 points in 37 games. Not scoring goals. Not many people on our team are scoring goals, but they're getting uh, a lot of points for assists. So 31 points, Victor Rask with 30. Jordan Stahl with 26. Jay McClement with 19 on the fourth line. Tiva Taravainen with 19. Mike Richards with 16. Lee Stepniak with 16, but he's minus 17. Brian Bickle is 14 with 8 goals. Uh, Elias Lindholm with 13. Jokob Nordstrom with 12. Maybe we should really start spreading these guys out a little bit with goal scoring. Victor Stolberg with 9. He has 6 goals. Nestor Self with 2 points in the 4 games. Defenseman, how are we doing? Uh, Falk with 11. Seinberg with 8. Pesci with 8. Slavin with 6. Tennyson had 4 points in 16 games. Hainsey with 2. And then Noah Hannafin with two, but he's been out for a good bit with injury. Okay, goaltenders, how are we doing for the goaltie? Goalies, Cam Ward is 12 and 12 with a 2.74. Eddie Lack, 2.61, 5, 4, and 1. Uh, Cam Ward is 12, 12, and 3. One shootout a piece for one shutout each a piece for them, and then roughly around a 0.913 to 0, 0 to 3. Save percentage for both of those guys. Cam Ward at 85, Eddie Lack at 82. So they've they've gotten a little bit of morale boosts, each of them up by one, which is not too bad. Uh, what I should do is let me uh, the team store upgrade will be done in one day. So let me simulate up one day before this game against the Jersey Devils. Let's just go up to this date because that's a home game anyway. Uh, Gregor Hoffman mild concussion just replaced the player. Okay, so we're up to that game against the New Jersey Devils. All of our upgrades to our stores should be done. Let's go back to the owner module right here. Let's take a look at our owner goals and relocations. Let's see how we're doing so far on our owner goals. Uh, I wish it would tell us how we how many sellouts we have had during the year. Uh, Seventy percent, five percent of all available suites, and then seventy percent of concession fan happiness. Okay, so concessions. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that. But the way the happiness is right now, the owner happiness is amazing. So he's liking our, he's very, he's happy. He's amazing happiness right now at our club. So he, he's liking the way things are going. Uh, arena and facilities. Let's go check out everything really quick again. Team rankings and sales. Let's go check out the past seven days. I don't know how many home games we've had though to see. Uh, we might have not had a lot of home games. Uh, we still made a lot more money than a bunch of other teams, which is good. Once again, we probably haven't had that many home games. If we go past 30 days, though, uh, past 30 days, we, we've made $6.5 million. 
which is really good actually for the past couple of months. We're near the middle of the pack, so it looks like we're starting to generate a little bit more revenue now, which is nice. Uh, let me see, game tickets. How are we still doing on game tickets though? Game tickets, uh, it looks like we are up at the top. Look at that, we're eighth in the NHL for the past uh, month in game ticket sales, which is good. So we're selling tickets out. Concessions, how are we doing on that? Are we still doing pretty bad on concessions? Yeah, we're still doing piss poor for revenue generated on concession sales. Um, well, it actually goes, you can go in depth for really to see on concessions. Merchandise, are we still crap? Uh, okay, we've been selling a little bit more merchandise, which is nice. Selling a little bit more merchandise and then parking. Uh, how are we doing on parking? Uh, parking, not bad. Parking, not bad. 14th, 14th. Okay, so our, our revenue sales have been going up for the past couple of uh, weeks, which is nice. Let's see. Uh, this is the upgrade and maintain. Yeah, so that's upgrade and maintain. Uh, let me go to set prices. Let's see how everything is working right now because everything seems to be good. Happy, 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 happy. Okay, they're happy with the prices right now. Overall trend is steady right now for the club seats. So we've been, looks like we've been selling out league average. We're doing more than the league average. Um... Yeah, fan feedback is is nice. Fan feedback right now is very, very good for the seeding on all these things. Everybody's very happy right now. So you know what? Let's... Did we sell out last game? Uh, capacity. We're just short of selling out. So let's upgrade the tickets maybe by a couple bucks each. No, just raise it by a dollar. Um, Because we did have a nice little run right there. Uh, the lower bowl, did we sell out those? Yeah, uh, capacity. Nah, it's like 69, so we really need to start selling a lot more lower bowl tickets. Um, but let's raise that by like two bucks each. Let's raise our tickets up by like two dollars each. A bit. I don't think people might have any issue with raising those up. But they are in an overall trend, they're happy with it. Which is good. Okay, uh, fan feedbacks. Let's see. Healthy beverages. French fries are good. Okay. Uh, pizza is good. Uh, juice is good. Chicken. People are still goddamn complaining about these goddamn chicken strips. And then healthy beverages. Okay. So healthy beverages are downwards. Let's lower that to 650. Uh, we really need to start selling a lot of these things. People are still unhappy with the goddamn chicken. I'm actually going to go below the the recommended price. Six well, $6 is a little bit too low. Um... We should probably just do 625, just continue to lower the goddamn chicken down, because people are still complaining about it. But our prices are really low. Popcorn is down, so we really need to lower the prices of popcorn. So let's go down to 450 each. Price of bottle of water's down. Go that. Um, the overall trend. Now I don't know if the overall trend is like people are unhappy with it or our overall trend of the prices should be a lot higher. Um, but fries are up, the large fries are down, or, yeah, so we can definitely try to get 550 for that, people aren't buying it. Hot dogs, I'll uh, lower that by 25 cents. Uh, yeah, for the trends that are up, we should probably increase prices just a tad bit. You know, people are happy with the prices of pizza, so if people are buying pizza. Um, we should definitely imp increase the prices of them. So for all of our trends that are going upward, we're going to increase the prices a bit, and all of our trends that are going down, we're going to lower the prices for. Okay, so we can lower the price of that. People are very happy with the price of juice, so we can bump that up a bit. Now what else did I increase? I increased burgers a bit. Hot dogs, we bump that down. Poutine, uh, that's going down. Yeah, we can lower that a good bit. I doubt many people are buying that anyway. Uh, let's see, fit fries, we did that. Yeah, we can upgrade those fries. Did that, did that, we can increase that. Actually, we'd leave that at six, that's fine. People aren't happy with the chicken strips, so that's why we lowered them. And then sodas, we can increase by a quarter. Okay, concessions, merchandise. Okay, uh, there we go. People are very unhappy with the prices now of these jerseys. See, the overall trend is up, but I'm not sure why. We need to really start selling off, off these jerseys. So I guess that, the fact that I increased all these prices, maybe they were made unhappy. So you know what, we're going to lower the prices down a good bit on jerseys for kids. People aren't happy with these, let's really lower it about. That one's neutral, so we can upgrade that, the regular priced fan jerseys. Uh, Jordan Stahl's jersey is down, so we can lower that a bit. 
Jeff Skinner's, they're unhappy with it, but it's a steady stream right now for jerseys, so we can lower that a bit for Jeff Skinner's home jerseys. Yeah, those, those definitely need to be lowered a good bit. Overall trend is up for these, but they're unhappy with the prices, so maybe it's because our jersey prices are too high, people aren't buying them. But they were happy with them at the beginning of the year, which is strange. So we can lower that. Away jersey, and yeah, we can lower that. Alright, t-shirts. Overall trend is up, but still, once again, they're unhappy with it. 30 bucks. Yeah, let's lower that by like a dollar. Let's lower that. Uh, they're happy with this, but the overall trend is down, so once again, lower that, lower that. Uh, we can lower that a bit as well. Yeah, let's just lower all the prices of our merchandise a bit. See if we can just get people selling a little bit more. And people are very happy with the parking right now. It's a steady stream, so let's increase parking a bit as well. Let's upgrade the parking by $2. Okay, so we increased prices a little bit there, lower prices a little bit. And I think we could get another month of simulating done. Why not? Let's get it going. Let's do another month of simulating. Because I think we're going to be close to the trade deadline soon. How many home games do we have this month? Uh, what was that? One, two, four. So five, six seven maybe like eight home games this month which is not bad let's continue to roll here let us continue to roll through the month of january so six to two loss to new jersey to start off the month hoffman is available to play but we'll just continue to roll seven to six win against the blues in a really like fire fight chicago two to one loss that's expected because we're playing chicago boston home game Ron Hainsey has been injured with a sore foot January 28th. Okay, so he'll be back at the end of the month. We'll get Matt Tennyson fit right in there. Maybe we should have traded Hainsey at this point because uh, not many people might want to injury prone Ron Hainsey. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to trade him. Anyway, 3 2 lost to Buffalo. Uh, they still, Chicago wants to trade for Ron Hainsey even though he's injured. That's hilarious. Uh, Chicago's going to be a really good team anyway. So I kind of want to. Maybe like a bubble team to trade Ron Hainsey to, so the draft pick wouldn't be that terrible. Two to one win over Columbus. That's good. Pittsburgh home game. Did we win that? Shootout loss. Okay, got a point. Columbus. Victor Rask is manager with Bruce Hand, February fifth. All right, that one's that one. I need to do the edits there because Victor Rask is a little bit of an issue there. So Teravena goes up. All right, might lose a couple games now. That's a, I think that's Victor Rask's second injury of the year. Four to one loss to Washington. Yep. So we're under 500 once again. Ron Hainsey is available to play. Good. Maybe I should have lowered the uh, injury occurrence. I don't know if that has any effect on it, but okay. And so Hainsey back in. Pesci and Slavin are getting nice little boosts right now. They're up to 82s. Home game against the Kings. Yep, 5-2 to two loss. All right, so here comes the losses now. Fan happiness is definitely starting to go down a bit for Carolina. Charlotte is doing good, though. They're 23-16-5, and, and then a loss to Philadelphia. All right, so we can do a player morale meeting here at the end of the month. Uh, Victor Stahlberg is going down. Let's see. The lackluster play of the team has been a distraction lately. Uh, let's see. I think you could step up and lead by example. I know the team would appreciate it. Every organization has its rough path. We're experiencing ours at this point. Losing things, but I need you to be part of the solution and not the problem. Uh, it's more disgruntled you didn't like my aggressive tone. Well, Victor, you know, deal with it. Okay, so not a good end of the month there for Carolina, for sure. Lost out on a good bit of games there. We're now down to 47 points which I think leaves us down maybe near the bottom of the Eastern Conference. Uh, 47 points. Yeah, we're still not lower than the Rangers and the Islanders, though. They're having much worse seasons than we are. Um, but in the East, how are we doing in the East, though? 47. Yeah, we're not. We're definitely not one of the worst teams, though, in the East. How, how about in the entire league? Where are we ranked? In the entire league, we are ranked at bottom six. Bottom seven, yeah. So seventh worst team, tied with a couple other guys. Um, yeah, not great, not great. Um, so we are in February though, which maybe at the middle of the month of February is when we want to start doing our ticket drive. Uh, trade deadline is a month away, so that's when we should really start upgrading our trading block and see who we should start trading away and all those fun things. 
but we can definitely check up on the team stats and things like that but i really don't think we need to do like team stats and upgrades like or anything because i think we're we don't really need to continue to make edits to be honest we're we're definitely not a playoff team i can tell you guys that right now we're not a playoff team looking at points though skinner's still working hard here he's working hard trying to stay close to point in a game with 42 points in 50 games which is nice victor rask and jordan Stahl are getting close to 40 point marks as well a lot of minus players though um D Giuseppe, okay. Yep. That's what our offense looks like. Defense. Falk is still trying his best out there. Falk and Seidenberg are plus players, which is nice. Everybody else, though, is a minus. Uh, Hannafin, yeah, he's 83 still. Slave and then Pesci are up to 82s, which I like. Uh, Brett Pesci has turned into a top six role defenseman, so he has turned from a depth guy into a top six, which I very much appreciate. I'm glad that I. Continue to play Brett Pesci here, so he has turned into a top six defenseman, which is nice to see. And then goaltenders are probably struggling here. Cam Ward and Eddie Lack are probably struggling a good bit. Yeah, Cam Ward has been struggling a good bit. 3.03 goals against average. I probably saw that coming eventually, that he was going to start struggling. But uh, let's go take a look here. Okay, the owner is now happy. He's not amazing happy anymore. He's just happy. Uh, it's going on slightly downward trend right now is the status of the team because we did have a rough rough end of the month we can go to arenas and facilities here to check out everything team sales let's we did a whole month simulation there so where is everything our sales are down at the bottom now so this past month was not very good for selling out things uh but our game our ticket sales are still up there though we're making enough we're making a good bit of money off of take off game tickets so our ticket sales are cheap enough which is nice uh we're still not selling concessions enough as we should be merchandise then do we get a nice little boost in merchandise nope we're still not selling merchandise and then parking we are still up at the top like 10th 11th for parking which is good so we're selling the good thing is is we're selling tickets and um, our parking seems to be pretty nice right now so let's go just set prices again see how what the fan feedback is okay so everybody's neutral now on the tickets they were happy before everybody seems to be a little bit neutral now so we're coming near the end of the year and we really want to start bringing in people so we're definitely not going to be a playoff team I think we don't we'll keep the prices the way they are for right now and I think once the trade deadline passes and we we assert ourselves as sellers, that's when we should really start dropping off all the prices on everything because we want people to come out to the games at the end of the year and we really want to start selling things. So I'm just going to look at the overall trends of everything. Yeah, like I'm happy. People are finally happy with the goddamn chicken strips. Uh, yep, happy, happy, happy. Okay, ha people are happy with prices now, it seems, and the overall trend is up. Fries are down. I think burgers were down a, a good bit as well. Uh, burgers were, eh, their overall trend, they're neutral and they're, they're up. Yeah, so we got some happies here. We got some happies on the board, which is, I like, I like to see. So we got some happies in there. Merchandise, yeah, the overall trends, a couple of them are down, a bunch of them are up. A lot of neutral fan feedback on a bunch of those things. And then parking are neutral as well. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we're, we're selling out parking every game, which is nice. Okay. So we'll we'll make those edits next time around. But, uh, yeah, I think we can assert ourselves as sellers, guys, for the trade deadline. Um, I'll have to take a look at our roster. I'll show you guys our roster right now. Just to see who you think should be put on the trade deadline for uh, or put on the trading block for this coming trade deadline. Ron Hainsey is on there, so I think I should take off those draft picks. And who should we put on our training block? Who do you think I should add to the list? Uh, Sebastian Ajo, for those guys who were complaining in the comment section, he's growing, he's up to a 71 overall. He's grown two overalls already, and he's slowly getting better. But if I had to look at some players to put on our training block, I mean, who should we put on there? Um, Cam Ward, maybe? I don't think so, though. I don't think any people would need a goalie with two years left. Maybe next year is when we trade Cam Ward. It would be nice. I don't know why I did that. Exit that. Exit 
out of it. But Ron Hainsey for a third round pick is definitely something we could get for him. Because uh, we do have Tennyson who could obviously fill in for him. Um, who else? Like Dennis Seidenberg, maybe. But I think we really want to just keep him around for this one year deal. We could get a nice, maybe like another um, like draft pick back. Seidenberg could get us like a second round pick. We could throw him on there since we signed him from free agency. He's an 85 overall. I think he'd be a really good addition for a team that's looking for a top four defenseman for a playoff run. Any of these guys? Not really. We don't need to trade any of those right wingers, left wingers. Skinner, Teravain, and Di Giuseppe are all staying. All those guys are staying. I mean, I doubt anybody would want Bickle $4 million. That is probably a stretch and a half. And then centers. Uh, let me see. Anybody who would maybe want to get traded center-wise? Mike Richards, maybe. But I think we could probably put Dennis Seidenberg on this list. On the trading block. Him and Ron Hainsey. And then... I'll throw Brian Bickle on there as well, just for the sake of having him on there. I doubt anybody would want him, but we can add those guys to the trading block. The Morales will get dropped a bit for getting put on the trading block, but I think those three are our main go-to players right there to be sellers at the trade deadline to get something back for those players. But as you guys can see, I don't think we're going to be making a playoff run. We are a month away from the trade deadline, and I think that is what we're going to take off next video. Where halfway, probably at the end of the month after the trade deadline goes by, we'll lower prices on pretty much everything to make sure that we have a max amount of people coming in for the next two months. And then our promotions, we want to start pushing the season ticket drive for next season where we lower off the prices on advertising and like single game tickets a little bit and start pushing the season ticket sales for next season. So the fan happiness is a little bit rough. We'll do some upgrading of prices once again. Uh, just dropping things up a little bit low, a little bit high for the next couple, uh, for the next month or so. We'll get to the trade deadline. We'll do some, we'll do some trades. Hopefully, you guys can give me some suggestions down below of what we should do for the trade deadline, who we should give away. But I think Ron Hainsey and Dennis Seidenberg are probably the two main guys we want to try to trade. I don't think we should be trading for draft. Well, I think we should definitely try to get in as many draft picks as I can. Maybe I'll do a little bit of uh, in-depth scouting as well to see who I could be scouting for this coming draft since we'll definitely probably have a top 10 pick I would assume but uh, thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy leave a like comment subscribe as always make sure you leave some comments down there in the comment section down below but we're going to continue to grind out things here in Carolina as we move closer to the end of year number one trade deadline will be our next point of interest and we will take it from there so thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time